<laughs> Hello, my one viewer. Here we go, live chat. Change the sound. Hey! It's weird. I have to hold the phone because who forgot their, you know, equipment? Me. You're lucky I have my phone. Hey! Can you hear me? Hello, my other five viewers. Or four viewers. Oh, you're a bit blurry? Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it's the front-facing camera. That could just be my Samsung. So I keep moving it. Hey, guys. Hi, Maria. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Melissa. Um, yeah, I just have to give it a, sec a second to actually focus. But, yeah, I'm not sure I want to see this much of my face. I'm, I'm so close to the phone. Oh. Hey. Rashida! Oh no, Rashid. Sorry. Um, yeah, so we're in Galveston, Texas. And um, we just got here today. Drive was fine. There was no issues, no traffic. Uh, easy drive. The weather was awful. So all the people watching the eclipse, it was not the best, not the best in Texas. Very overcast. Huh. Cool. Yeah, right? Isn't that cool? We are at, this is the, um, a mural of the Galveston Pleasure Pier. It's like a known thing here. We are actually in a Super 8. Um, whoa! All the best laid, pl all the best laid plans, guys. We're at, first of all, the GPS took us to the wrong place. And then, I mean, we made the Galveston. We just, in the wrong part of Galveston. And then we... Okay, let's go have lunch. We go find the restaurant we wanted to go to. They're closed for remodel. I have to pick another restaurant. We find another restaurant. We just stop. And we've been driving and we left the house around 7.20. So at this point, we're talking like it's like 2 in the afternoon. I'm hungry. I'm cranky. James has been driving the whole time. He's mad at the GPS because it took him to the wrong place. And then... Um, we're sitting in the restaurant. <laughs> he checked the reservations. Well, guess who booked the reservations for the wrong day? This does not happen. James is a planner. He plans everything. For this to happen, it's like, oops. So he's calling the hotel. Then he's calling the um, program we purchased, pre prepaid, pre-purchased the hotel uh, months ago. And so we had, and it's now refundable. So I don't know. They escalated it because we made a mistake. Oops. Um, oh, the food. Yeah, the food was amazing. Um, oh, so Maria had good weather. Yeah, not here in Texas. So we're in the hotel we had booked originally. It's just a super eight. It's not a big deal, but it's near the uh, shore, um, shoreline drive. This is Galveston. Everything's kind of near an ocean. Part. I mean, we're on an island, um, but it's close to where our um, terminal for the boat is. So it was neat. We drove all around. We drove around. We drive lots of construction here. Construction and um, it's not too busy. The weather's not that fantastic. People were still in the water, though. People were still in the ocean. It's some pretty choppy water, though. It was 35 miles an hour winds out there so yep and then uh so we went and had cajun food for lunch and we just went to the waffle house for dinner i was going to take photos and totally forgot it's like well forgot to take photos and we just want to eat something easy we're not even on the dang boat yet and we're probably getting 10 pounds before we get off this boat <laughs> because sorry about the moving camera i'm, I'm literally holding holding this phone out so it's going to be shaky. I apologize. I didn't bring my stand. Um, I thought about it. I looked at it. It says, Jackie, don't forget this. Jackie forgot. So how is everybody else doing? Did everybody else get to see the eclipse? Well, those who were in the path of the eclipse. It didn't get super dark here. It got a little dark.
<laughs> I slept and now it's snow. Oh, snow. No, thank you. It's very humid here. Um, of course, we're next to the ocean. Um, our Gulf of Mexico, same diff. But anyway, give me a thumbs up, guys. I'm actually doing this through studio so I can actually see the thumbs ups. I watched a couple, a bunch of videos today. I don't know if y'all saw Cassie Thorpe's video today. Very fun. She's like, my 20s and my, okay, she's really, she's 31. She's like 31 and a half. So she's just in the very beginning of her 30s. <laughs> Okay, but she says how her style has changed from her 20s to her 30s, and it was actually a really good video. I liked it. Um, and then I was watching Leather Tannerstein's new podcast episode. Now, I put that on my community post and I put it on my Facebook. It's a really, really good episode. So the guy he's interviewing is actually a, a really well-known person in the car industry. Hey, Craig! And... Um, so sorry about the shaky camera guys it's just the way it is um and uh he's starting a leather company beautiful stuff but they were talking about how hard it is to get leather manufacturing done in today's day and age um and the samples he got it was very it was a very good interview um actually um tanner didn't speak that much um and actually his first name is vulcan <laughs> so his name is is vulcan um, Leatherstein, I believe. Leatherstein actually is his last name, but his first name is Vulcan. And, um, it was a good episode. I listened to that one, and then I caught Saya's, um, part of Saya's live, and then I went back and listened to the rest of Saya's live, which was so cool, very nice. Um, what in the holy tunnel where are you at? I am in a hotel room. This is, this is, um, a headboard, guys. See, there's James. James, wave. You're hanging out in my hotel room. It's very interesting, right? This is a this is a head the headboard of the Galveston Pier. This is the picture of the Pleasure Pier. Did it do it? There's the my, you know, this is hello in the mirror. Um, so this is the room. Nothing, nothing too interesting. Not as nice as the other hotel we had. But this is also really cheap. It's just for one night. We didn't care. Um, Craig says hi, James. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's that is the Ferris wheel, and that is the um, Marigold Round. It's a really pretty, very famous um, pleasure pier on um, Galveston. It looks darn right scary and should uh, I think. <laughs> uh, would never be built today. It was probably a grandfathered item. Um, but I, I do not go on to carnival rides that are in places like that. No, no. Hey, Cammy. Um, so, but yeah, we're just hanging out in the, in the hotel and I thought I'd try to go live and see how good the Wi-Fi was horrible. So I'm like, okay, so we're using my cellular plan. But having to hold the phone is going to make this harder because it's shaky. And I was like, Jackie, remember to bring your phone stand. Did I remember? No. And there's no actual desk and chair here like the other hotel you were at. So this is more like, okay, I'm just going to hang out here in bed with all my friends. This is not an OnlyFans, I swear. Oh, my God. It's ridiculous. Where is Winnie when I need her? Um, so we drove all over the island and, well, most of the island, um, it's a cozy live. Yes, this is like fire chat live, but this, there's no fire. Um, but I almost, guys, I almost went and bought the Mar um, the Margella, it's the Margella, Mason Margella perfume that, um, Winnie had bought, but then I went, I went, blah, blah, I went and read the notes. I'm like, no, Jackie, no. It's a gourmand. I do not like sweet fragrance. Fra you can tell I'm tired. <laughs> my words are not coming out of my mouth. Um, anyway, title, this is In Bed with Jackie. You get a lot of views, right? Uh, I thought you weren't, you, we, we are. Yeah, we're in bed. You're the pillow behind my head, um, sitting up on the headboard. Um, Totally. And 
Um, you'll, oh, I did. Okay. So something weird happened to me today too. Um, well today was, Hey Monica or Monarch, sorry, Monarch. Um, I bought a bag online. Shocking, right? Nobody's shocked. This is a bag that's been like, it's coming out. It's coming out. Finally, it was released today on shopdisney.com. And I'm like, oh, I went over to shopdisney.com. There was a promotional, a super special, whatever. I literally was putting in all the information as we're driving. Um, we had just dropped off. We actually, we, we still had Mr. Watson in the car with us. This is like seven o'clock in the morning. Then. About eight o'clock in the morning, I put my order in. I asked James, if James, I really want this. He's like, that's okay. Hey, I need his favorite. So it's a Dooney and Burke Disney collab, and it is their dogs. It's all the dogs, it's all the Disney dogs. I put the order in. Do you want to? Do you know that that is that collection is off the website now? It launched today. Launched today. I'm like, um, within hours, either they completely sold out, or I don't know. But the order process. So I'm gonna be holding my breath to see if I get this shipped. You know how nothing's really yours until they ship it. You know, it they process the order. We'll see if I get the bag. <laughs> I don't know because it's not there anymore. Um, I don't even know if I took a photo of uh, a snapshot, but I kind of think it might have gotten um, sold out. You already bought the dog. I did the Christmas version. Don't judge me. <laughs> yes, Craig, I did buy the Disney dogs Christmas version. This is just the everyday tote version on a teal background versus a white background without Christmas decorations. My phone is auto typing crazy. I can believe that Anita. Um. <laughs> yeah, and the lighting in this in this space is awful, guys, awful. It is really, you know, not the best, but I still wanted to come in and say, hey, and talk a little bit. And um, I, I have packed two books, my Kindle. I downloaded a book on my Kindle. I downloaded four audio books just to make sure I had them on my phone. I'm only going for a week, not a month, a week. I can't read all the books I took with me, but I feel like I have to have all the books. Yeah. Okay, this is, look at him. You see this? I told, I was telling Craig, Craig, what am I going to do? I'm going to actually have to talk to James about stuff, not about work. Because well, we work together. We live together. We spend all our time together. There is no separation. We're, we, we are barely ever not with each other. So we don't really talk to each other anymore because we're always with each other. And I'm like, we're going to actually have to talk to each other, not about work or coworkers. This is weird. He's like, yeah, right? He didn't bring his game systems. He didn't, he said, do not bring work. Do not bring work. I'm like, okay. So yeah, he's, um, believe me, I have thought about maybe I could pay for the Wi-Fi, <laughs> but, uh, or not. Um, it's a deep plug. <laughs> Thank you, Anita. <laughs> Whisper sweet nothings. <laughs> I feel like as much time as you guys spend together, you're doing great to be still. I, you know what? So many people, so many people. Um, <laughs> says, how do you work together, commit together, and live together and are still married? Like when I say we work together, we work in the same section. We do the same job. We have the same boss. Like it's not as if we are working in different parts of the building or different departments. We are literally... Um, in the same section <laughs> it, it people look at me like I would I can't work with my spouse I'm like I've always worked with my spouse there was a short time when we weren't working together because he was working in Austin and I was working in San Antonio but um I I'm the talker James is not really and well how many years have we been married I can't remember 17 7 17 was it 17 years? I have to keep calculator out. Yeah. Yeah, 17, 17 years. 
We've been married 17 years and together 19? Wow. Dude. I think it'll be 17 this year. Yeah, this is this October is 17 years. Yeah. I know what we should just remember how old Dorian is and just subtract years. Mm -hmm. Our nephew just turned 19. 18. So, eight, 18. 18. So subtract one year. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good way to remember how long we've been married. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, we've been married a long time. We were married when we were 27, and we thought we were old, guys. Now it's like, I listen to people get married, and like, oh, yeah, we're 30. I'm like, that's awesome. That's so young. <laughs> and we were 27. Oh. Craig, I get you. If I worked with my husband, I would be divorced for sure. Yeah, a lot of people say that. Cammie, if she wasn't talking to us, she'd be talking to him. And then, oh, yeah. See, that's the truth. That's the truth, Craig, because he is, he is secretly not, not even secret. He is publicly very grateful that I have found you guys because this means I'm not spending hours talking to him about my handbags. He doesn't care if I buy them. He does care if I talk to him about an hour for them or I watch Cassie Thorpe. Kind of like the same way... I feel when he starts talking about some of his gaming podcasts or Formula One, I just like glaze over. It's like, I support your endeavors. I support the fact that you love Formula One. I am totally cool if you want to go see the race. I don't mind the podcast. I'm just not going to listen. <laughs> um, hi, all excited for your cruise. My brother and wife are currently on a 30 day cruise. Whoa, Sandy. Where are they going around the world? Those really long cruises, I've only seen in the Asian um, market. I haven't really seen those on the American market. Um, Cami, I go back and watch you short. Um, ah, the snow. That's, yeah, 32 days of one cruise. I don't know. It's fun for a week. It's relaxing for a week. I think after a week, I'd be getting a little frustrated and like, okay, I want to be off this dang boat. Um, as soon as my husband retired 15 years ago, I ran back to work full time. That's why we're both still alive. <laughs> oh my goodness, Cammy, that's hilarious. <laughs> Well, when you've been married for a long time, the truth of the matter, the truth of it is, like, we could just look at each other and we already know. Like, we've had so many conversations. We know each other's, like, opinions on stuff. It's like, there's nothing new here. Because um, we've talked about it all. It's, it's 17 years is a long time, guys. So it's like, I can look at him and say, you want to leave? And he's like, yep. And then we leave. Like, no words we're really even exchanged because we already know this we will go to a place and we want a quiet night we're tired we don't want to talk to each other we don't want a loud restaurant we walk into a restaurant and there's live music we walk out we're like nope not this one mm -hmm. if there's a long line to get in somewhere we're like nope not going to that one not going there you know we just know um oh, cammy the short is so authentic in the reality of so many couples Mind too. I need to watch this short, guys. Um, Cammy, congrats. That's 29 years. That's awesome. Yeah, my mom has been married to her husband for 30 years, and they survive by not talking to each other. She, they both have their own hobbies and their own interests, and they get, you know, they they have a lot of things like us. Like we do things together, but um, he has his interests. I have my interests, and what what keeps it working is that um, he supports the YouTube side because he likes the tech side, right? So he's like, oh yeah, I use this equipment. He's excited for uh, me getting a computer. He picked out the computer. He likes um, the webcam and all the stuff. He wants me to get another phone. Um, Rhea thinks marriage is not easy. Yeah, people who say marriage is easy aren't married. <laughs> a compromise is, is almost like a daily word. You know, I am been married so long at this point, I'm not sure how I would be single. You know, I get anxiety when we're not together because we're always together. Um, he gets anxiety if I, if he's, if I am 
away from him driving, like go visit my sister, he would rather go with me and suffer through my sister than have me go without him and, and not um, know about the driving conditions because that's the only thing he's really concerned about is like because of the car accident we had 12 years ago. Um, aren't either aren't married or have been multiple times, right, Craig? <laughs> uh, yeah, people who say marriage is easy, nah, nah, they, they, no. Because people change, you change. I'm not the same girl he met when we were 25. You know, we're 44 now. We're not the same people. We're, we're the same, I mean, in our core and our essence, but, you know, we're not, you know, I have a hard time moving. You know, we're not the same people when we were 20. <laughs> this year in August is 20 years for Phil and I, but 12 years married. Wow. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. And no marriage is is not easy at all. Yeah, no, marriage is not easy. Because uh, honestly, because you're married, because you have that close relationship, you can hurt the person you love the most the easiest. You know exactly how. You know exactly what to say, exactly how to say it. Um, and you can't, you can be forgiven the words, but the words can't be taken back. So you have to be more careful. Um, hey everyone, hey Latina. We're probably not going to be on live very long like I normally am because, well, um, I'm holding a phone. <laughs> We're in a bedroom. We're in a hotel room. This is a headboard. Um, this is James. <laughs> He's like, can you stop talking now? I would like to go to sleep. It's only six o'clock, but we've been up all day. Um, so Mr. Watson and stressful, a little stressful. Mr. Watson is being absolutely spoiled by Auntie Caitlin. Like, well, it's going to take us a week to get him back onto a regular, you don't get to have a chew treat every single minute of the day. So he's been given uh, chew treats and he, so the shepherd he's staying with um, is very um, independent. She is a German shepherd. She's a guard dog and a work dog. And she's like, you little rascal, I don't want you, just get out of my house. You know, she's nice enough, but she's not a cuddly, snuggly dog, right? So she, Ava falls asleep on her little dog bed, and Watson comes over and gets as close to Ava as she can to take a nap next to Ava. Because Watson is a cuddling dog. He wants to be as close to the other dog. This is how I know Watson needs a friend. He needs, he wants companionship. He is a companion dog. He should not be alone. Pugs, pugs should not ever be only pugs, in my opinion. So that's what we're gonna do when we get back is find a dog, well, find a, find a dog friend for, and we have about three or four comp um, contenders. It really is just gonna come to how they interact with Watson. Um, just by their, you know, it's the same um, shelter, rescue shelter that we use to get our two dogs. Um, so glad you explained. I thought you were hospitalized. No, 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 no. I'm in the hotel. This is this is uh, this is the Super Eight in Galveston, Texas. Um, you're just looking at my. There's nowhere to sit. There's no chair. Well, there's a there's a sofa over there, but I'm not sitting on that sofa. You, people worry about sheets being clean. Do you know when's the last time somebody shampooed a sofa? Never. <laughs> like never. Mr. Watts is on vacation, lots of attention. Oh my gosh, lots of attention. Oh, no, no, Debbie. No, no, I can't. If I got a black light, I, no. I'm already, I'm just going to leave it, let it be. It's like, my, my skin is there to protect me, right? The barrier. <laughs> uh, yeah, Craig did tell me that. He said, get a black light. I'm like, no, 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 no. I actually have my own blanket with me. My pillow is in the car, so I am using their pillow. Um, but I bring my own blankets. I bring house slippers. Um. <laughs> I would be scared of that. I prefer denial. Yes, I prefer denial. I don't want to know the truth. Um, I actually watch... A housekeeper she's a housekeeper for a major hotel 
And whenever she goes to other hotels, she does an inspection, literally. And she has an entire hotel cleaning kit with her, like how she disinfects a hotel before she stays in one. And I'm like, she has the black light. She's on. Um, I've seen her reels. I don't know what platform she's on on. Um, I bring rug spay and strip the beds first. Oh, no. Go around a boat with it. Oh, no. Daddy. <laughs> Lysol. Well, in all honesty, she's going to a boat where the bugs can't escape. So the hotel is probably safer. <laughs> oh, that's what I do, too. Jackie, I thought you weren't in in aluminum i know right people think it looks like a tunnel that's actually a ferris wheel it is a a mural for a headboard so that is the um merrow round and um but it literally is called the galveston pleasure pier hey don bug spray won't work on bed bugs but it would make me feel better let's be honest it'd make me feel better <laughs> um but you know what? I think next time I will come with a can of Lysol. Why haven't I done that before? I did bring some wet wipes, but that's not the same thing as Lysol. I should have done that. Um, maybe I can run to the... I might be able to run to the pharmacy before we go to... I might do that. No. <laughs> James vetoed the get the Lysol for the... He's like, no, that's just one more thing we had to take on the dang boat. No. Um... I wanted to go to the bookstore. He's like, there's this really cool bookstore over in the Galveston Square area. And I'm like, oh, let's go to that bookstore. I'm like, no, 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 no. I already have two books and a Kindle. I do not need to buy any more books. And I will buy books. I cannot, I almost never walk into a bookstore and not buy a book. It is hard for me to not buy a book. Bed bugs too. No, there are lots who can buy off Amazon for traveling, cleaning. Okay, I can do that. Uh, we don't travel too much, but we're traveling more. So get yeah, the kits. Yeah, me too. I always buy. We don't really stay. We only actually go places twice a year, really. So we're we're kind of novices when it comes to to hotels and vacationing because when I visit family we stay with family or we're in our own home so I could stay there all day <laughs> um, I always yeah yeah the bookstores are just they're especially small independent bookstores I feel like I have to buy more books and yes I know it's cheaper on Amazon yes I know I have a Kindle it's cheaper there too but that's not the point that's so not the point <laughs> bye girl Catch a bug, you'll learn. Really. Yeah, yeah. See, well, my friend Caitlin, uh, who's watching Watson, she has told me many a horror story because she has come across this problem. She was actually in Houston. She did a lot of work um, where she had to stay in lots of hotels. So she gives me every, So we travel with her. She checks everything. And I kind of just waltz around like, oh, okay, you know. And this is the first time we've gone, been on a trip without a friend. Normally, she's our travel friend. She's our... Let's go do things. She's single. We're married, but we, we just go hang out with each other all the time. And she's our Disney friend. Um, she and James did the marathon. Not marathon. What was it? 10K? 10K. And then she did a half marathon. But, yeah, I think the running thing might have petered out just because, well, running is harder the older you get. And um, she's getting older, and so is James. And they... The marathon with Disney is fun, but you have to train. You can't just go do it, you know. Hey, Keith. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, we're in my hotel room. So this is the new setting. This is the hotel. This, that's James, you know. And uh, this is a headboard, and I'm resting my head on a pillow because it's really there's nowhere to sit. Actually, there is one sofa, but I'm not sitting on it. Um, yeah. Um, Keith is high. James Hi. is like, who is Keith? <laughs> What's behind you? It looks loopy. It is a Ferris wheel. It is a um, mural. My headboard's a mural of the Galveston Pleasure Pier. It is a very popular thing. Um, Don says, hi, James. See, everybody knows James. And James is like, who are you people? <laughs> I talk about you, I swear. He just doesn't really know everybody. Um, 
he knows he knows Craig, he knows Winnie, and he knows Dee Dee because he's actually met Dee Dee. Um, yeah, I, I love Ferris wheels, but that's um, they're scary. I don't do them now. I I actually am afraid. Oh, I did tell him that Keith. I did. Um, I told. Um, so okay, the story behind that st- statement, Keith. When Keith first um, contacted me on Instagram, I didn't actually realize it was him because his name isn't Keith on Instagram. And I was like, who the heck is this? It looks like a you know a catfishing account because they all kind of look the same. And but then I saw that Craig has following him. It's like, oh, okay, well Craig's following him. It must be somebody I know or you know whatever. So I said, okay. And then I started talking. I'm like, hey, are you a real person? Because this is like a catfishing account. He's like, what? He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, uh. Then I had to explain that on the daily I delete like five you know private accounts constantly because people are trying to either sell me fake items or they're catfishes. You know, and I get all of them because my name's Jack. So, I get women and men catfishing. I know he knows my name. He's like, that's... <laughs> yes! Craig! Craig, oh yeah, he knows you. He knows you. It's like, a, oh, he knows you very well. Um, good night, all. Good night, Cammie. Yeah. It's like, I talk about you daily. And I says, I don't know what I'm going to do, James, without talk, talking to Craig. He's like, what, you mean talk to me? I'm like, yes, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's like, you have to talk to me. It's like, I'm the one who talks for three hours to the, you know, people. You're the one who he doesn't say anything. My Korean name is Jay, which is why my, yeah. Well, I understand that now, but I didn't know that when you first contacted me. I'm like, who is this person, you know, until you said you were Keith. I'm like, oh, okay. Maybe next time I'll book an adjoining room. <laughs> I would love for you to go on a cruise. I don't think you could handle it. <laughs> you you would be I like, don't oh, know. You're 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 moving into the country retired life. You might be up for a cruise. You know. There's still a lot of stuff to do. It is it does mess with your equilibrium though because of the motion. Um but I am okay with it. I do have to use a cane on the boat. Um it's just you have to. The boat's moving. And sometimes it moves and I move the wrong way, you know, <clears throat> but for the most part, it's fine. I would eat 24 <laughs> seven. I was telling Keith about what's on the cruise, like the food and stuff. And I said, we're going to gain 10 pounds in this one week, or we're going to make ourselves so ill. We're never going to leave our hotel room. Uh, the richness of the food is really what's so different. It's not even the quantity of the food. just that everything is made with very rich ingredients like everything's made with butter or everything has a dessert and we don't eat food like this on the normal you know i've come to realize very quickly with both of us being retired how extremely high strung i am (laughs) oh (laughs) i'm the type that feels like i need to get my money's worth and love to eat so it's a bad combo. Yes, it is. I don't think you're high strung, Craig. You know, are you telling me that Travis is the more chilled and relaxed one in the pair? Because James is the more chilled and relaxed one in, our, in this pair. I'm the one that has the anxiety and all the stress and all the, you know. He's just like, we'll just keep working. It's fine. You know. And I, I feel... But see, I don't think eating the food is the money's worth part. It's it's the not the quality. It's not the quantity, and but the quality and the food on um, a Disney cruise is very good food. Um, yes, he is. I'm the one bouncing off the walls saying. <laughs> Are we live? Did I come back? Hey. Hello, Julie. Um, uh, guys, my connection failed for a second there. It came back. Woohoo! Um, we'll see how long it lasts. Um, hi, Julie. Hi, everybody. Hi, blonde. We are in a hotel. So you are looking at a mural. This is a headboard. I know it looks weird, but that is a Ferris wheel. Thumb up the live, guys. 
ja. Yeah, I was actually a lot more um, active and a little bit more high strung before the car accident. After the car accident, I've chilled a lot, but I've never been as as, as in active and, and um. My sister and my mother are just like energizer bunnies. They just don't stop. They keep on going. How can you keep doing stuff? My mother is in her sixties. She's still going to dance clubs. It's like, woman, huh? I'm like, well, granted, her dance clubs are like waltzing classes, but you know, it's still a dance club, guys. Um, she's going to ballroom dancing, which her husband despises. Um, so her and her girlfriends go and they have um, dance partners, teachers there, so they'll do ballroom dancing. I'm like, this is the worst. I would hate this. My sister would actually like it. I'm like, uh, no. Hey, I tell Travis when you're in constant pain, you just part of part of it. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. You, you, the nice, you know, polite human <laughs> goes away when you're in pain. You're lucky to get the barely tolerable tolerable human. James literally asked me, "Hey Jack, did you bring pain meds?" Like, yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> it's like good because you should probably take some extra tomorrow morning. I'm like, good plan. <laughs> hey friends, we're gonna leave the chat. Okay. Um, Maria says, "Night, Jackie. Night, guys. So, yeah, I won't be back until next week. I'll probably live on Sunday when we get off the boat. Hopefully, and I'm actually off next Monday too." Uh, so I'll be living because I have to take a day to recover after the boat because I don't get seasickness. I get land sickness. Um, but I'm also on a new medication since I was on that boat. So we will see. James, do we have enough um, seasick meds for both of us? Yeah. Just in case? Okay. Yeah. Just in case. Our room does not have a balcony. Uh, we have an interior room. Uh, so no porthole no balcony i can't say about to go film video for my husband hey ma'am uh, say hello um yeah it, well, we won't be on like that long today because i'm holding the phone you know it's i forgot my holder at the house who was i watching huh there was a youtuber I can't remember. They were showing their filming setup. I'm like, that's some serious equipment. Um, I was also watching um, Lisa from Luxury Life in the Middle. She got the really cool anagram jeans. So I think um, I think Gwenny has a pair. I think Meredith has a pair. We know Amelia has a pair. So now um, Lisa has a pair. Uh, those are really cool jeans from from the way we the way bay yeah very cool and my bestie monarch you know um so yeah so so far today's been fun just been driving around nothing serious had a good lunch uh, i'm not made for vacation it's really really hard for me to chill left on my own devices i stay home um he, james knows that that's why in all the years we've been married this is maybe the second vacation where it's just he and I. Normally we have other people and, and we normally don't take that many vacations. Like for us, RVing around was perfect because my home went with me. Our dogs were with us and I loved that. But then when his mom moved in, we couldn't do that anymore. So. Ooh, hey, take a hang about them. Helen, hi Jack. I'm the person who was happy to see. Oh yeah, the horseshoe perch. I called San Marcos to the store and they could not buy it as they do not ship clearance back. What? Really? Helen, I wish I knew that. I was there the other day. I could have picked it up for you and mailed it to you. I am so sorry because I was like, the bat's here. They told me that they can ship, I guess, I guess you had to be there for the, because it's, that's a sample sale item. 
there, there's no way if all fails final so maybe that's why they can i don't know that's just odd helen but The only problem I had with that red bag was that that red particular bag, the strap was not detachable. But that was a beautiful bag. They told me you were there. I cried. Oh, next time. Oh my gosh. Um, they're super nice. I didn't know that about the sample bag, so I went to promoted that. I know any of the other bags they can do, but I didn't know that was for the clearance bags, which is like bummer. But I, if it's, here's the thing, I don't get back into town for another week, so I, there's no way it's going to still be there. But if it is, I'll find you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Winnie! Winnie, what did you do? I want to know what you did. I almost bought that by the fireplace perfume because you talked about it yesterday, Winnie. And then I went and read the, the fragrance notes and I'm like, it's a gourmand. Oh no, Winnie did a big thing. Winnie. Well, Helen, I'll keep looking for those horseshoe, you know, bags. I go to that outlet pretty, eh, pretty, a little bit more often than James would like me to. Nothing. I'll send you some. <laughs> well, I don't know. If y'all watched Ed Braun's video today about the LV bag he has, that thing's cute. And know what's scaring me is how... Dang, perfect that looked. I'm like, if that's what that looks like and that's not the real deal, I wouldn't be able to tell. So I am actually kind of happy when people show things like that because that makes me be very leery of buying things pre-loved that are brand new, you know. Well, Latina, a oh, Winnie Craig, make space for me in your conversation, right? <laughs> it's like I want to know hello Grace is that bag is I know right Monarch that bag is adorable like I would not know I would not know I text him privately and says that is such a good looking bag how in the heck and he says he compared it to the real deal like he and his sister had seen the real thing in the store and he says you couldn't tell he says we could not tell I'm like that is terrifying that they can make such a good duplicate replica whatever you know i'm like anyway helping i appreciate that sure helen i love dooney anything i can do to get people to love dooney as much as i love dooney the only thing i love more than dooney is ralph lauren and dooney just because i know they're very consistent. Like right now, okay guys, y'all know I love and hate Coach. But right now I'm in a hate hate relationship because Coach brought back the Burrow bag, but they didn't bring back the original. They, not even did they not bring back the original, they used the same name and changed the whole shape. Like you're not even the same thing. What? They do this all the time. Just like Google any name with, with them. Um, coach and they've redone something to it like the grace or the sierra or this you know they have so many names hey don's donuts well today marks my mom wait 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 i missed it my mom's passing so between that and the text and the work and the dang lips not being this oh man i'm sorry winnie that's rough yeah i'm always down on my dad's um Birth date and death date. It's always sad. I try to call his death date his heaven, heavenly birth date. That's when he went back to heaven. Yeah, this is a hotel room, guys. We're in Galveston. We're at the Super 8 Motel. Um, our hotel by Wyndham. And uh, that is the headboard, which is the 
Oh, Ferris wheel for the Pleasure Pier over here on Galveston off the Shore Drive. Retail therapy. I don't blame you at all. Never have, never will. Um. <laughs> it's like we all, I struggle every single day with not buying stuff. Every day. Like today, okay, guys, I got a notification on my phone. Your order is shipped. I'm like, what, what? Where, what shipped? What shipped? What did I order? <laughs> Why did I order that? It's like, yeah, I got to get off these <laughs> platforms. Jack, you and your husband have a great trip. Hey, thank you, Helen. Um, I don't know Jack was going live when we talked earlier today. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't. I said I was going to try to. The internet connection is kind of okay. <laughs> We're not going to. I'm not going to be on here much longer. It's like 47 minutes. Probably get to keep it right at an hour. It's about 10 more minutes of just chatting. And then, uh, honestly, my back's screaming at me. I'll be real honest. Uh, because I'm sitting in a bed reclining reclining is not actually a good position for a bad disc truly sitting upright or laying down is really the best deal but there's not a chair here like a real upright chair so yeah so i'm almost at the limit of what my body is going to say hey this is great we're, we're getting to the you gotta lay down because this hurts um the bag was on my shopaholic video and one third off. Hey, that is awesome. I keep hoping you end up with your, um, well, you know, I'm not going to speculate. I'm just going to be excited to see what you get, Winnie. Um, Winnie and as plus Bill can't really get upset on today of all. No, no. Nope. Winnie, you are coming. Oh, that's so nice, Dawn. Dawn says Winnie's visiting during Dawn's mom's birthday, so she can't be sad. She won't be sad. <laughs> oh, Dawn, that will be get through it together. August is bad. Yeah. For me, my dad's death is hard, still hard. Um, Definitely a love-hate relationship there, too. Mostly love. It's easier. Um, never make your kids your executors. Don't do it. Pay a lawyer. Um, no, I told Bill after he crapped. Oh. <laughs> oh, and he said he loved you. Yay! Well, of course he loves you. You guys have been married forever. James loves me, too, even when I make, like, a uh, honey, I bought this thing. Yeah. It was really hard to pick the bag to use today because I have a lot of anxiety about only having one option. For some reason, I like to have options. The clothes I packed within 30 minutes, no problem. But only taking one purse and one carry-on, it's like, this is hard. Julie says, I'm cleaning my office and have no idea. I feel like I'm being beat up too much crap. Aww. Hey, Craig, you just became my Bessie, at least. <laughs> well, good. Keep him company because I'm chatting with Winnie and Dee Dee Bean and me. He was like, all three at the same time, pretty much. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Talk to me later. <laughs> so, Latina, text him away when, we're, when I'm gone this week. It's, believe me, I might not be within reach, but I will be thinking of you guys constantly. Uh, I'm going to try to film as much as I can. Good things. My phone has tons of space. Um, I can put videos on there. I'll try and see. I've never really vlogged before, like going someplace and changing the audio and then doing a voiceover. But I'm going to try that because it's Disney. Everything's like there's there's music everywhere. Stuff happens. You know, try not to invade people's privacy, you know, and try not to take photos of other people. All those things. Um, yeah, Winnie, when do we get to see it, says Dawn? It has to be, you could go to eBay authentication, the clerks we get to April. Oh, nice. Um, there is an Hermes bag I really want. Craig found it. Mm -hmm. um, it's, called the, it's called the bus bag. I didn't even know a bus bag existed in the land of Hermes. Hermes is so strange. Uh, did you all see Dale's Addictions video um, on um, Hermes? I actually really liked her video um, about the whole lawsuit. And 
it was just a fun i just like the video it was a good video deb debbie says i need to see the ocean give them my number jack oh yeah sure i can uh who do you want uh, latina you want me to give your number to craig just text me latina who you want me to forward that to and i will do not let dawn that's about the only one i'm keeping not yet dawn wait what are you keeping Winnie, are you selling that pink? Oh, you can't sell that pink Tory Burch. That bag is like a legend. We would be sad if we saw, didn't see that bag anymore. Um, the omnibus. I don't know if it's called an omnibus. Craig, is it called an omnibus? The bag that you showed me? I thought it was just called the bus bag. It's a tote. It's a really pretty blue tote um, by Hermes. It's like two and a half thousand dollars or something. Maybe three and a half thousand. I don't remember. Um, but it's an open tote, very pretty blue. Hmm. Oh, it is. Okay, so it is called an on the Wait a minute. Wait. On the bus. Okay, on the bus. Hmm. That makes more sense than a bus bag. I'm like, what bus is people carrying this on? Oh, and I found out that Dior gives the Japanese Japan market way better freebies. Oh, wow. Well, guys. I hate to burst the bubble, but the Asian market is the market for luxury goods. We are like third class citizens or fourth class citizens. We're the behind the train citizens. I think we have it better than Australia because listening to everybody, Australia gets the end of the, doesn't get all the cool stuff. But uh, Asia, Asia is uh, the, they are the market for luxury goods, not America. I can sell you that bag. Uh, ten times over, yeah. These vintage monarch, send me the DM on Instagram, and I'll send you some. I see their, see them every day. Craig, you need to start putting in a finder's fee. Not if they buy it, just a finder's fee. <laughs> we do not get anyone anything in Australia. Yeah, that's what they're saying. It's like nothing goes to Australia. Which is weird because everything goes to goes up to Asia. There's stuff in the Japanese market that never ever sees anywhere else. Even Coach does it. Like Coach, I'm mad at you. Why is it going to the Asian market and it's an American company and I can't even get that? Um, tiny cute little wicker bucket bag, actually floppy. Huh. Sherry says, Winnie, you did a very good. You made it. A quarter for four months yeah four months that's really good Winnie that's actually really good there's a video for a youtuber called Annie she explains why luxury goods are branded goods are imported to the psyche of Asian people that is really good I need to find that a I N I Annie okay Grace I'm gonna go look for that because it's true. I have no idea, but my Asian family they, is ingrained, ingrained. It must be European. <sighs> Australia didn't have the taste or the market. Ha! Huh. That's true. You have to have the consumption of the goods for it to show up. Buy, buying power isn't very big, first of all. That's true, Grace. Well, Winnie, I can't wait to see what, you, what bag it did. Uh, yeah, I want to know what bag Winnie got. I always want to know what bag Winnie got. Thank you. I failed, and I failed big, but I'm okay, and no remorse. That's all that matters. Moving forward. One in every four women in Japan have a Louis Vuitton bag. I absolutely believe that. And when there is one, there is more than one. Australia is actually part of the Asian market, so I think it's just get the bottom of the barrel. I agree, because they call it the Asian Pacific market. It is part of that region, but for some reason, Australia just doesn't get... They just don't get the merchandise. And when you talk um, in consideration, that means age zero to dead. One in four people in Japan have women have a Louis. Men probably do too. My uncle carried a bag. Um, men in Asia carry bags. It's just the way it is. Grace plus is also very um, outdoorsy kind of lifestyle. There is an Australian brand that um, I think it was a brief, somewhat adulting, or I can't I always get her confused. The briefcase of luxury. Anyway, one of those two ladies showed the horse. 
It's a brand out of Australia, and it's a bag, a leather bag company, and I really like them. I think they're really pretty. Like, I really want one. I don't understand how it can be so cheap with free shipping. Like, is that free shipping to America? Because that can't be correct. Um. <laughs> yes, I've actually had more money this year so far in seven years, in several years, says Winnie. Australia is an Asian region, but a lot of us, I missed it. We'll buy luxury items overseas and bring it in. That makes sense. Yeah. Jake Grace, yeah, Asian men carrying bags all the time. Like, I grew up watching, not only do they carry bags, they, they had long hair and, you know, it was just normal. And I come to America and it's like, wait, what? <laughs> like, just carry a bag. And, and it's taken me years to get James to find bags that he will find acceptable to use because it's just not normal here. You know? I read everywhere that China alone is 20% of the spending at Hermes, so Asia has a lot of power. It's the reason why Asian models are so popular now in ad campaigns. They weren't as popular 15 years ago. I can believe that, Keith. Absolutely. Um, Grace, you all have it. Y'all have a hard time getting anything over there. Craig says, I'm just going to say I don't like this live format. I'm having a hard time reading the chats. I am too. I'll be honest, this whole thing is rough. Uh, this will not be a normal occurrence, guys. Um, I wish, I kind of wish I brought my computer now. But dismantling that sucker, not fun. Uh, buy a gift bag. Uh, I failed big. I have four luxury bags, three contemporary, and the fourth month into the year. Oh, four luxury and three contemporary? Well, Sherry, I'm not going to share how many bags I've purchased this month or, and it's not even, or even this year. Um, yeah, I failed. If there was a low buy, no buy, it was a Jackie. Uh, anyhow, I'm, it has been almost an hour. It's about a few minutes shy. And I'm going to sign off, guys, because I'm getting tired of holding the phone and my back is yelling at me. So I'm going to say good night. Thank you for hanging out with me. Give me a thumbs up on the way out. And um, <laughs> anyway, love y'all. And I will talk to you when I get back from vacation. I, there's no way I can go live if the Wi-Fi is this bad or my cell service is this bad here on the island. There's no way it's going to be working on, at port or in the ocean. So I will see everybody on Sunday. Have a great week. And, um, yeah, we all survived the eclipse. It wasn't the apocalypse. We all survived. Anyway, bye, guys. How do I get – how do I turn off this thing? Mm -hmm.